Alright. Is that it? Alright, just got... What's up, everyone? You. Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise, cruising to get some free cinder blocks. So, just got a call from, actually, our boy Rob from Coastal Concrete. Coincidentally, already had this shirt on. I didn't just wear it just to impress. But, he is working on a job about three miles from our house. Had 20 leftover cinder blocks. Said we could come get them if we want them. Um, so, my advice to myself and to the rest of the world is if somebody gives you the opportunity to get something for free, you can't really ask too many questions about what it is. Just jump on it because if we can either use or sell the cinder box for like 50 bucks, that's just another $50 that what we made doing pretty much just picking them up, taking them to the house, and selling them. So the dream is reality. Up to this claim, and dude, this guy's a complete legend. This guy needed like. <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah, I was already just repping your your brand already today. Boy, you already before heard. you even hit me up. See, you knew you were coming to work. Yeah, but why does this guy need another garage? <laughs> Fill, he filled up his sheds, right? <laughs> I, I think he needs one more. Damn, dude. He must have the horde life gone. What's the claim? The claim is this sh shitty universe gives us another glorious day. That's true. You don't know how many days you have left, so do something with it. Yeah. Get cool. off your couch, like Hob would say. <laughs> the hobsters. Or, or don't be a dick like Ben would say. Dude, all these cinder blocks? Dude, no. Why don't you want these? They're yours because you could do something with them in the horde life in the backyard. I'm oh sure. man, you can't. Alright, let's load these dreams. All these cinder blocks for the dream. I think I might put the cycle like row of these at the base of the shed. I don't know. We'll see. Or you. you? This one. What's the claim? More claims? Yeah. I need another coffee before any more claims. <laughs> the hemis are crossing. Are the rest of them about to come too? All they do is cross. See ya. Oh shit, there's three. Where? Where's the there? third? Oh shit, there's four. Where? Oh my god. Come here, get back, get back. Never saw so many praying mantises in one there's area. There's one. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Right there where my finger is. Four. They're like young though. They're not full grown. They look like sticks. Oof. So we've been cleaning up this bed because it's pretty much never been cleaned since we lived here. And it still looks insane. But there is just so much like trash cans full of debris out here. You kind of got to just let the homies ride though, dude. Now I'm just going to do this part and leave their little homie spot. Alright, so all these little hummels, Christmas ornaments are going out to Alaska. There, some of these were made in China, so someone was calling them chummels. I don't know what that means really, but these are really cool. They're all stamped the date, 86, I guess, 81. I guess they were getting them one at a time for Christmas. That seems like the deal. Or each kid was getting one, I'm not really sure. Or all those are from 81. So, I don't know. But these are cool. Okay. 
This thing is going out to Tammy in Florida. Um, so it was in the shed. I thought she asked about the woodpecker and I sent her two pictures of two different ones. And someone else ended up buying the bigger one, but this is the right one and it was in the shed on top of a bunch of other stuff from Dorchester. So I just found it today, posted it to the store and she bought it, so it's going out tomorrow morning along with the chummels. The dream. Yep. We're in Walmart right now. Just trying to get a couple of packing things just so if we start getting orders from eBay, we'll have something good to put them in. We usually just like to use the ones that we have, but we're running thin on those already like we just wrapped our last one that we had. And we should have saved every single one over the last like six months that we got, but we didn't. And I'm just gonna grab three packs of these for now. Cause like a little like Star Wars toy or like something could fit in here and just be wrapped. They're only 50 cents a piece. I can even add that to the shipping later on. Can't even hold all these though with my hands. But that's the plan. We have another battery? Yeah. All right, we're doing on a heavy mission right now. Pouring rain. We're about to see if Landis' parents are still on this plane of existence because we haven't seen him put the trash out since he started coming and that was like a month ago. But their house is right here and we're about to investigate. What were people calling it? A welfare call? Welfare call? What? Like, house call? Yeah, like welfare call they were saying like to see if they're like okay. Yeah. Well but that's what we're This is going to get heavy right? Oh, God. Oh, man. Dude, the camera's going to be so creepy. Yeah. All right, it's fine. Do you it's think we shouldn't you? Moment of truth. Landis Landito's parents. He could never fit through that thing. Oh, because they're only allowed in this area. We got to go through this into the next door. Are you sure? Yeah. And they have food right there for them. So are they good then? Yeah, they're fine. They just don't like it here. Do you know what I'm saying? So should we knock on the door or what? <laughs> Doesn't work. Go into the next I mean, area, right? I guess. You can't just walk in people's houses though, right? Just not. That car hasn't moved in months, so look at the tire. It's like dry rotting. You know it's not hasty. It is. Exaggerating. It's not like fully dry rotted yet. There's this weird bug. Like look at their house, it's decaying. Like I know our house looks crazy, but like They legit haven't had something in their trash can for months, dude. Oh, they do have a bag in there. They got food. You know what I mean? No, I guess they're good then. Just see if they come to the door, obviously now. I just can't fit through there, dude. Oh, well, he wouldn't want to, that's for sure. There's no way he fits through there. It seems like someone lives here though, dude, obviously. Why is there like water yellow that they have for him? I'm saying I think they're like So that's why they don't even like it in here. They're not being taken, like, look at the kind of food that they're eating. No offense. They're not even coming to the door. Should we just bounce out here? That water's got, like, a bunch of shit inside of it. Yeah, it's yellow. And it's got, like, dirt and, like... All right, let's get out of here, dude. I'm creeped out. You can't fit the dirt, though, either. 
They and obviously. It probably looks better on camera, but. Dude, they obviously heard the doorbell. They're bedridden. I know that for a fact, just by the looks of it. And someone else, the, co the person that came in the caretaker. white car, the is the one who feeds the cats. Yeah. Well, they don't come in Let's just put it that way. Should we just give it like five minutes? I don't know. It's been like Getting crazy, like weirded out a little bit, but then I'm starting to realize we can't just leave without figuring out what's going on here because literally the cats have been in our house for at least three weeks, solid weeks. Like in the middle of the night, we call Landis's name, he comes to us, so. All right, we came, we knocked, we saw that it was going, something creepy going on, and we didn't conquer because no one came to the door. We were there for like 10 minutes, at least, I would say. We were gonna be like. So what's the verdict on the land so, Landito? Nobody's there, so the neighbor across the street came out and she was going to her car and we asked her, you know, what's the situation at this house? And she said basically that the lady is, it's just her that lives there and she is, I, I guess she's on vacation. She's away. For a month. For a month. And it just left like dirty Maybe even water longer. that has like yellow stuff it. In has it has mold in it, like, like algae looking stuff growing all inside of it. And then I guess her sister's supposed to be watching the house, but clearly she's not. And it looks like, like they have like a walk-in like a little porch before you get to the second door that goes into the house and it's screened in and that's where the cat food and the cat the, the water is and then the cat door goes into there but Landis can't fit through that fucking cat door nor would I, he ever want to nor would they I can see why that because like it's been raining the past couple of days so like you can tell when they've been outside like they they're first just like natted and wet so I can tell that they've literally and I know because like they're literally just at the house day and night but I guess the lady just doesn't I don't know care about the cats clearly because if I would never even like you can't even leave your cats inside if you're on vacation for a month no, like without they're, they're lucky if you left them and there outside. wasn't a litter box in this place so clearly like they just live outside but that's sad to me and the neighbor was kind of just like please take care of him she's like i was wondering where the cats had been so i don't know they found the right home now <laughs> are you crying yeah because <laughs> it's just mean because animals like i don't know they depend on us yeah, like, don't get them and act like you're going to care about them. Like, you're not. Obviously, they're older cats. It's just mean. Because they are really nice cats. And, like, Landis literally doesn't even... He just sits at the door and stares at me. And, like, I make fun of him because it's so funny. But, like, it's just mean because he doesn't even want food. He clearly just wants, like, human... Like, attention like love so it's just like that lady's just in key key largy right now just partying like a total she's so fucked up like clearly her husband's dead like or i don't even know because there was mail to him and her so like i just don't what you're just fucking on vacation while your cats are fucking drinking moldy water and fucking running rampant around this fucked up neighbor like this neighborhood it's a good neighborhood but like people drive crazy around here and like your sister's clearly just not taking care of the cats like she said she would it's just so creepy oh my <laughs> gosh he didn't <laughs> seconds later he came sneaking oh he's wet why don't they What's the claim? I let you get Ritos. Doritos? Yeah. So don't walk. White pizza. DiGiorno. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. But we are 
about to watch. What is it? Hell. Hellraiser. Huh? Hellraiser. That's what it's called. The new Hellraiser. Pinhead lifestyle. But we don't know how it is. We got it from a uh, red box. But we're going to go off to sleep pretty much in a little bit. So, you know, we're trying to still figure out this cat situation. And we'll keep you guys updated. But uh, another but glorious day. Lucky girl. It's so weird. Right after we came back from their house, I went to feed them and hang out with them outside. And lucky girl, we didn't get this on camera though. I don't know why. Because it was just like in the moment. But she... MJ. He's in the window. The window's open. But um, she was like rubbing up against me and she like put her paws on my chest and was like kneading on my chest and like just looking at me and it was so cute and she's never like let me get that close to her. Like she never knows, even lets me pet her. her in deeper. And she let you pet her. And she let me pet her for the first time. Mwah. She's so cute. But it's uh on your elbow. Tape. No. Something. <laughs> that ain't right. But uh yeah, we're pushing every day. Had another great day. Tomorrow's another great day so everyone just keep pushing their dreams and just know that if you follow your true path everything's going to work out in the end you and good night or good morning Whee.